We're back now at 742 with a very touching and personal story that's been playing out on social media. NPR radio host Scott Simon tweeting from his mother's bedside as she lay dying in a Chicago hospital. NBC's Kevin Tibbles has more on that now. Kevin, good morning to you. Matt, I'd never met Scott Simon before in person until now, but it's as if we're old friends after spending years listening to his weekly radio broadcast weekend edition on NPR. But these days, many people are following him on Twitter as he stands vigil by his mother's bedside. Hi, I'm Scott Simon of NPR. Scott Simon's analysis and thoughtful voice weren't there for me on the radio Saturday morning over coffee. Instead, he is here at Chicago's Northwestern Memorial Hospital. My mother um, and me together looking, I don't want to say just death in the eye, but looking life in the face. Scott's 84-year-old mother, Patricia, has been fighting for her life, suffering with cancer, a battle she lost overnight. But Simon hasn't fallen silent, quite the opposite. This is Today with Scott Simon. The long ago host of Weekend Today has been a constant on social media, tweeting from her bedside. I love holding my mother's hand. I haven't held it like this since I was nine. Why did I stop? I thought it unmanly, but crap. Through these short messages, Simon now shares these deeply personal moments with his 1.2 million followers on Twitter. Why share such a personal moment with the rest of the world? Because I think my mother has a lot to say to a lot of people, and I'm not embarrassed to share it. But it is his mother's life that Simon wants us all to celebrate. I think it's nice that people will know how Patricia Simon said because she poured everything, she poured everything into me. While many look at social media as anonymous and impersonal, Simon uses his allotted 140 characters to help himself and others cope with grief. He is not just posting into the void his feelings. He's really sharing them with an audience that is responding to him, and he's feeling that and responding back. The reaction has been overwhelming. Is it weird to tweet from your mother's deathbed? No, it's real and moving and lovely. Thank you, NPR Scott Simon, for sharing your love. Although there has been some negative reaction. Some things are best left untweeted. I love Scott Simon, but I disagree with him tweeting during his mother's death. I tell you, death is a universal experience. And yet we don't talk about it. This is something we've got to figure out how to live with, how to both struggle with, struggle against, and finally accept. Simon has also shown us the humorous side of their relationship. I know end might be near. As this is only day of my adulthood, I've seen my mother and she hasn't asked, why that shirt? <laughs> I'm, I'm so glad she can't. I've been buying a new one every day. And I am. Lifelong memories and a painful process shared in such a public and poetic way. I am getting a life's lesson about grace from my mother in the ICU. We never stop learning from our mothers, do we? It was after our interview that Scott Simon returned to his mother's room, eventually tweeting overnight, the heavens over Chicago have opened and Patricia Lyons Simon Newman has stepped on stage. No doubt he was there holding her hand as she left on her journey. Guys, back to you. Uh, Kevin Tibbles in Chicago. Kevin, uh, first thought is obviously our condolences yes. go out to yeah. Scott and his family. Second thought is we, we know him from his days here. He mm -hmm. is such a smart and thoughtful guy. I love what he did. I, I think do it, too. Having, having been with both of my parents when they passed, the idea that he's helping other people, I think, deal with that. Is, uh, is immeasurable. It's such a tribute to her, too. If you yeah. read through the feed, each post is so poetic. It's a little vignette. Mm -hmm. It says something wise and profound, and I think it's an honor to her. 140 characters I don't think ever meant so much yeah. as, as it did. Yeah, but also, he, he's the only one who really knew his mom, right. and I think right. if he felt his mom would have objected to this he in any way, right. he clearly wouldn't have done it. But again, we can all learn from it, too. It's true. It's great.